Hi guys, it's Jen from creativelyhomemade.com. Thank you so much for joining me for my latest tutorial. I am so glad you're here. Today I want to share with you a pretty Project Life layout that is just perfect for all your spring pictures. It features Stampin' Up's Blooms and Bliss Designer Series paper, the Flower Shop stamp set, and the Pansy Punch. So let's get started. I cropped a couple of the pictures smaller than the 4x6 and 3x4 slots and I mounted them to Blooms and Bliss paper so there's a floral border all the way around the pictures. The photo of my daughter being baptized had a pretty dark spot in the corner so I used silver hearts from the Stampin' Up! Metallics Enamel Shapes pack to add a little bit of contrast in that dark spot. I use Project Life Design A page protectors for pretty much all my layouts. This really helps pages go together more quickly, which is especially helpful for when you're trying to put together albums for four kids. To make the title card for the page, I cut a 4x6 piece of the floral paper and rounded the corners. I die cut letters to spell out the word baptism using the mint macaroon floral print from that same paper pack. I ran the letters through my Xyron sticker maker to add adhesives to the back so I don't have to mess around with glue. Now I find it helpful to align the letters on the sticker paper before I stick them down to my card. That way I can get the spacing right and don't have to try to peel up the letters if I make a mistake. I stuck the letters down to a piece of sweet sugar plum cardstock that is one and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. Then all you have to do is gently pull the sticker paper away and your letters are correctly aligned, at least for the most part. I once again pulled out my metallic shape pack and I added two of the silver hearts on either side of the word baptism to add a little bit of glitz to the title. Now that pack comes with three different shapes. You get circles, hearts, and stars, and you get a sheet of both silver and gold, but I chose to use the silver ones for this page. Then I just added the title strip to my 4x6 card. I ended up rounding the corners because I thought it looked better that way. To make the journal cards for this page, I cut a 2.5 inch by 3 inch piece of sweet sugar plum cardstock, rounded the corners, and stuck it down to a 3x4 card cut from mint macaroon floral paper. Then I used one of the flower shop stamps to make an embellishment for the journal cards. I used rich Razzleberry ink stamped on the same color cardstock for a pretty tone on tone look. Now one thing I love about Stampin' Up! is that a lot of their stamps have coordinated punches or dies that you can cut, use to cut out the images quickly. The Pansy Punch coordinates perfectly with the Flower Shop stamp set and makes quick work of cutting out the image. Now I also went ahead and cut out a few of the pansy punch shapes from the Blushing Bride glitter paper. I'm going to use those behind the stamped image to add a little bit of bling. Now just to give you a heads up, the Blushing Bride glitter paper that I'm using in this tutorial is one of the retiring items so it's not going to carry over to the new catalog. So if you want it, make sure to get it as soon as possible. To finish up my journaling card embellishments, I stuck the stamped image down to the glitter flower using mini glue dots. Now just a quick tip, whenever you are sticking anything down to glitter paper, you definitely want to use glue dots. A regular tape runner just isn't strong enough to stick and it'll end up falling apart. Then I used snail adhesive to stick the flower embellishment to the corner of my journaling spot. I punched a one quarter inch circle from pink glitter paper and used a mini glue dot to stick that to the middle of my stamped flower. I just love the bit of sparkle the glitter paper adds to this page. I went ahead and made a second journal card the exact same way. The only difference was that I used Blushing Bride cardstock and ink for the stamped flower on the second card. So that finishes up things for the first side. Let's move on to the right side. I went ahead and put some of the pictures in the page protector. For one of the pictures though, I cut it smaller and added it to a mint macaroon pattern 3x4 card to give the picture a border. Now several of these pictures on this page are from when my youngest daughter competed at solo and ensemble competition. So I took a picture of the board after they posted her score. I added a little pink enamel dot by her group's score so I could easily find it in the picture. Now since this page is going to have pictures from several different events on it, I wanted a lot of room to journal. 
So I cut a four by six card from the floral paper and added a five and a half by three and a half inch piece of Blushing Bride cardstock to it. And then I stuck those together. I then added one of the glitter flowers that I punched earlier to the corner just to give it a little bit of bling. I made a second 4x6 journaling card just like the first one and added a 3x4 photo to it. So that's going to give me lots of journaling room to write about all my daughter's spring events on this page. So the last thing I need to do to finish up is to make a filler card. I used the same flower stamp I used on the other side and stamped that onto sweet sugar plum cardstock using rich Rosalberry ink. I then cut out the stamped image with the pansy punt. I used mini glue dots to stick the stamped flower down to one of the glitter flowers I had made earlier. Like before, I added a one quarter inch pink glitter circle as the flower center. To assemble the filler card, I cut a one and a quarter inch piece of mint macaroon powdered paper and stuck it to the center of the three by four card. Then I added the flower embellishment to the center. I just wanted to let you know that if you like the floral paper that I am using in this Project Life layout, you will want to make sure to purchase it by the end of May. Uh, this pattern paper pack isn't carrying over to the new catalog, so Stampin' Up! is going to be discontinuing it. So if you want to get it, you want to make sure to get it by May 31st. So here are both pages side by side. I was really pleased with how well this Project Life layout turned out. I love how the Bliss and Blooms paper and the Flower Shop stamp look together. Well, that's all I have for today. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products I used, I have links down in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.